We are already in another episode of the Talking Booth with Comfort Booth. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to another incredible episode where we do and speak about very interesting topics. Before we head into the business of the day, I just want to say thank you for all the love and support for this show. There won't be a talking booth without you. I want to reiterate that this show is not about me. It's about the men, the women, the boys, the girls out there who have always wanted to be heard, but are not allowed to do so. This show is for you. We have to go on a quick break. And when we are back, what do we do? We dive right in to the business of the day. Stay tuned. In a world where technology reigns supreme, we find ourselves grappling with the repercussions of its most iconic creation, the smartphone. Remember the days when playing outside until our mothers called and gathering around the television at a particular hour were the highlights of our childhood. Fast forward to today, and we're witnessing a seismic shift in parenting norms, the era of what we call here social parenting, where screens have become the new playgrounds. As adults, we've experienced the insidious allure of smartphones, especially when coupled with the siren call of social media. We've been firsthand, we've seen firsthand how these devices can weave their addictive spells. It is baffling. Then, that in spite of these glaring dangers, many parents still place phones in the hands of their young children. Social parenting, that's what we're calling it. It's a paradigm shift where the convenience of technology often trumps awareness of its consequences. With a plethora of information at our fingertips, the fact that many parents remain blissfully ignorant or knowingly ignore the potential risks and effects of early smartphone use, it's a riddle worth unraveling. And with me in the studio to talk about this very important topic are, ah, and to my left, is uh, Madam Choma Moma. I'm going to start with the female. Yes, yes, yes. Public policy lawyer, author of a children's book, First Day at the Big School, founder, Let's Encourage a Reading Nation, a public speaker, and a parenting and uh, life, uh, family life advocate. Welcome to my show. Thank I you. hope you're going to have a nice time here. I'm sure and to my <laughs> right is Senior Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> we don't, we are Baptist High School now, we don't forget that. Uh, yeah, that was a long time ago. No, so was, ah, no, Senior <laughs> Stanley. He's a radio TV presenter and producer, a media consultant and media content developer. Thank you so much for being on the show and welcome. Thank you for having me. So diving straight into it. The topic is social parenting, mm. but it's a play. Social parenting, what does it mean to you? The first, whichever definition that comes to your mind of the two. Mm. Yes. Social parenting. So I'm thinking parenting socially in terms of social media, Very good. in terms of the things you hear, the things you see. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's what comes to mind. Then mm -hmm. the other social parenting, I'm thinking... Mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I think it's basically how you uh, we have adjusted to the modern times and mm -hmm. the way the world um, has really evolved uh, around us and uh, essentially that um, the things that our children are exposed to mm. are very different from the things we were exposed to and very different from the things our parents were exposed to. So it's, I think, adjusting to the uh, tools mm. <laughs> and... Uh, things that affect our children. Fantastic, that's mm -hmm. exactly, I think it, it, that was really, I love the way that you guys laid the foundation. So mm -hmm. being social parenting, what the internet is teaching the children, and social parenting, how we are adjusting to teaching them how to behave mm -hmm. or to handle this, um, uh, I don't know, this, what do you call it now, this 
epidemic or mm. this mm. this tool that is supposed to be a good thing but it's really 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 has a bad underbelly mm. Mm. Uh, <laughs> underbelly I like that <laughs> so um both of you have children yes Mm. Um, so let's hear how you navigated. What? <laughs> let's hear your experiences. Just you know, let's just talk about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, all of us have children. Sorry. <laughs> so let's talk about <laughs> but I, I'll share the experiences. Because, okay. Like yeah. you said, we, you know, we all have children. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I have four: um, 20, 18, mm -hmm. 15, mm -hmm. and nine. So you can see the, you know, the f first three are kind of close together, and I have one who is kind of younger and oh, just wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> you just want to slide over that uh, to say it again 20 20 18 uh -huh. 15 then you did nine, nine. Yeah, that one is what happened one for the road. what happened <laughs> in those seven years <laughs> that's what they say <laughs> that's what they say you know but seriously you know, just even parenting them you know who are in similar you know sets it's it's, it's been different thinking of what's available now mm -hmm how they are, you know, natives to these things. They mm -hmm. understand how everything works. They understand how your tab works. They understand how your phone works more than you do. Yes. How every yes. gadget works. So they yes. grew up being very smart in that way. You know, one day my son told me, Mom, you're very smart. When it comes to the TV and everything, I finish. seem to be smarter than you. <laughs> and I said, perhaps you're right. So they grew up with all these things, unlike us, mm. where we would wait till like 4 p.m. or what time. He was four for TV to Sesame start, Street. you know, and at what time the news comes on, Nine. that's the end of your own programming mm -hmm. for the day. But they have programming round the clock. And if you're not careful, if you're not there with them, it's really, so you know, I, for me, I remember, you know, having to um, watch the DSTV and say, you know, can they watch this? Hiding the decoder in my room, making sure I only had access to it, so I would know what they are watching. And you're dealing maybe with house help, so you want to watch <laughs> so certain material that you don't want your children to watch. You know, having to just navigate all of that when you're at work, when you're at play. So it's, you know, it's been interesting. I'm trying to raise them to understand why they shouldn't watch Correct. or see certain things. Because, you, you know, you won't always be with them. That's the honest no, truth. That's when they're true. in university, when they're in secondary school, you're not there mm. to see what they're mm. watching or what mm. they have access mm. to. So it's been quite interesting, you know, raising them in this world and just comparing with where we come mm. from mm. and what they have access to. Everything is online. Yeah, everything. everything. Mm. And everyone is online. So you even have, you know, shows on YouTube, children are online, they're looking for likes, Kay. they're looking for, you know, you know, for social media, but they, as in strangers are the ones that validate people now okay, like we'll, them. We'll get to that, yeah? yes, so, just hold that thought, that yeah. validation. How has it been for you? You two, you have, a, I think, a 17, 18 year old? Uh, no, I have a 20 year old eh? and, and a Ooh. 19 year old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. And it's been uh, quite a journey, except if I'm going to have one. <laughs> no, and it's been quite interesting. And sometimes I, I think that we we are, we beat ourselves on the head mm. too much. Okay, um, you think? As, especially as Nigerians and as Africans. Okay. Uh, that when we don't keep up as quickly as people in the Western world, automatically we feel there's something wrong with us and all of that. But there are things that we don't really pay attention to. And one of those things is when you consider the world is changing very quickly, but for us, mm -hmm. the world changed a whole lot quicker than mm. it did for the Western world. Why? I mean, imagine this. Mm -hmm. My grandfather was probably the first to have encountered a white person. I know ah. what you mean. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So mm -hmm. here is somebody okay. who had grew up having no contact with the Western world. Mm -hmm. Then his son most likely was born maybe not wearing shoes and then, and then there is this rapid transformation where okay from there you are now going to the university, mm -hmm. the, then there's independence and then there is all that. And then you now have a child who now grew up mm -hmm. in a world that was going from analog to digital. To digital. Mm -hmm. And then that child has a child that grew up in a fully digital world. Yeah. So you're totally. going from literally probably moving around half naked to a digital world. <laughs> to totally. It's a shock to the system. <laughs> True. And so some of our problems emanate from that, not necessarily because there's something wrong with us or anything like that. But we so don't. we're kind of behind on the curve sometimes, and we, we, we would have to you know, keep up uh, a little bit quicker. So You said something about that mm. we came from naked, half naked to digital. But we're not grappling with half naked. Anymore. <laughs> no, but, oh, so <laughs> okay, that's a different. Yeah. Kind of, <laughs> that is a very different kind of half naked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That, we, 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 that's kind of hypersexualization. But mm -hmm. fantastic. Back then, the half naked was not necessarily happening. Those were work clothes. Wasn't 
It was normal. It was, it was normal. the norm. Yeah. It was light. Mm. Yeah. So it's we're behind the curve sometimes, so we have to keep up. And maybe that's why we have also struggled with what our children have been exposed to. Yes. I remember, you know, when my kids were younger and a lot of my peers, uh, the, the, the thing, what was being said was this, because this was the era when the, the mm. DSTV and ah. on-demand you know, media became common. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it was like a miracle drug for parents. Yes, so. You know, you have the terrible yes. twos where you have a toddler mm -hmm. and the toddler is moving around. Mm -hmm. And it's important. There's a reason. Mm. The world is big. Exactly. The child is trying to discover. <sighs> that is when the child needs your time the most. Mm. But do you know what we did? We plunked the child in front of the TV oh, so set yeah, and said, watch. oh, well, it's so good. We put cartoons and he's quiet. Preach. And we thought that was a good thing. Preach. It wasn't. It wasn't a good all. thing, At you know. Because what we were doing was subletting parenting mm. to strangers who we didn't even know, who were Maybe creating content that we, we, we had no control I over. I love, so. love the way you you situated that. Because mm. in this day and age, a lot of the parents don't want to hear this. They will mm. tell you, what do you want me to do? You go every single way. You see these tiny children going with around tabs. with tabs. Mm -hmm. And the mothers are happy because they want to be on their own phones. Mm. Mm. Yes, it's actually they want to be more on their own phones. And so they need to distract this one. And as you said, you are not even part, you don't mm. know what, you know, in our days, mm. my, I remember my mom would watch every single thing that needed to be watched mm -hmm. first. Before you watch it. And she was a medical doctor. Yes, yes. She was going on call. But she had the time to sit down and make sure that she watched at least. She made the time. Yes, she mm. made the time. Yeah. Thank you. She made the time to make sure that what we were watching was kosher. Kosher enough that not to give her a headache. <laughs> now, I am yeah. the one with the youngest child here. Mm -hmm. She's 13. Mm -hmm. Before she got to this age, you know, there was already all this, you know, the social media and all that. And I decided to do one thing. I decided to check what would Steve Jobs do? Or mm. What did he do? What did Bill Gates do? Mm. Those are the two people, the two main people that had, have revolutionized this. The whole tech industry. Yes, yeah. for us. Yeah. But so here's went. the shocking thing. Their kids spend very little time their on social media. Very, very the, the first, <laughs> mm. yeah, because why? They honed them. Mm. Mm. They didn't give them phones till they were 14. Wonderful. Yes, both of them. Mm. And when they even got to 14, they had a time frame. You could only be on the phone, I think, for about an hour. Mm. Yeah. It, yes, it was heavily regulated. And then when you come to the table, there were no phones. And it was a rule for these children got to the age of, um, what do you call it? To consent. be high school of... Yes, uh, consent. You know, college. Was, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they took it in. And I now said, ah, ah. if the people who, who created, created this have decided to even deprive their own to a certain period, then I'm going to follow them. Mm -hmm. They say, who mm -hmm. do you follow now? Whose tracks do you follow? It's the successful people. Mm -hmm. And they're successful. So there must be wisdom to their mad madness. They know the harm. I now had to give my daughter. I said, please read mm -hmm. this thing with your own mm -hmm. eye so that you can see mm -hmm. why you can't. But there is so much pressure because while you are trying to do that you have a lot more people going in the opposite Green, direction the mm. so how have you dealt with the peer pressure of no you must have a phone because sometimes she's sitting down uh, they're talking to her about snapchat she doesn't know there's, like about, know. there's no snapchat mm -hmm. they're talking to her about this there's nothing like that for her That's so really how did you do and i had to tell her no 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 you have you have to be different you have just make it clear to them my mommy said no phone till this so simple now. it's simple it, it, it makes it easier but mm. let's be honest how have you it? dealt with it you know i like peer something pressure. you said because you mentioned you know the parents themselves are on the phones mm. peer pressure mm. even the adults are succumbing to peer pressure even more than their young ones well, succumbed to yeah so you see people doing things they want to get the latest gadget just because it is the latest gadget not because they really want it or need to understand how it works so because their friends, you know, kids have these things. Oh, every child, you know, this, this age has it, so I'll get it for you. Not understanding why. And the why is always so important. Yes. So for me, like you said, I tell my children, you know, you're dare to be different, one. Yes. And there's a reason why I don't want you to have this. So my nine-year-old has yeah. friends who have the latest phones. <laughs> yeah, okay. And he tells me, I'm like, oh, good for them, but you're not getting a phone Simple. anytime soon. Very good. And that's fine. Thank and he's, you. And he has to say that, mommy wants what's best for you, you know, I love you, and, I, and there's a reason why there's a lot of dangerous content out there. So I, you know, I talk to them. Mm. Things happen online, people get, you know, um, abused, people have gotten killed, yeah. because, you know, they met somebody dangerous online. Mm -hmm. There was a boy, I think he was 12 or 13, and he met somebody in the comfort of his home. He met somebody online who brought drugs to his house, <laughs> and he OD'd in his house with his parents, you know, where he lived. His parents had no idea that he had met a stranger who had delivered mm. these drugs to the house until they got through, he went through his, uh, um, his 
and saw it on his phone, how the guy had, you know, met him online. So I tell them this story. So they say, look, That's I'm not just being difficult. I'm not just trying to be old fashioned, but I care for you. And the reason why you need to paste these things, yes, you get to university or whenever where you can do, but then you know how to make the right choices and handle the right content, not because everybody else is watching it. So we parents check ourselves. You know, I had to tell myself, Choma, put your phone down. Mm. Because mm. we are so bad, you know, watching every show, mm. scrolling through Instagram, mm. everywhere. And then they are watching you and saying, okay, if mm. mommy is always on her phone, why should I always be on my phone? Mm. You know, so we need to be very, you know, deliberate, deliberate intentional. What are the messages that we ourselves are sending yeah. to our children with our own habits? When we're online or on TV, watching TV throughout the day, till morning, we're adults, so we've earned the right to do what we like. But no, people are watching you. So the three things that you've mm. said that I like is one, dare to be different. Mm -hmm. Number two, you've told them the stories. You give them stories. Mm. So storytelling is a very, a very powerful technique, I've realized. You've told very. them the stories. And then the third one is um, not do, as I do, do mm -hmm. as I do. Not what I say. Because yes. these children, are, you know, yes. these days, go out the day, you say, don't do this, yes. and they listen. They, they're, they're, they're watching, watching you. you. It's what you're doing they're that they're going you. to pick up. What was your own experience? Mm. Mm. What was your own experience? Well, I, I think one of the things that is important for, for us to do, or one of the things I did, was first and foremost to even educate myself awesome. about awesome. what social media is doing to me, first and foremost, and then what is it doing, uh, what could it potentially do to my children. children. And it's a, it's a source of uh, mental health illness, it's a source of yes, anxiety, you know, because of course you're, you're in there for the dopamine hit. Mm -hmm. If you post something and you're used to getting 100 likes and all of a sudden you get 20, there's that anxiety. Mm -hmm. And I could see that happening even uh, to you, e even to me, wow. you know, because being in media and everything, yeah. you post something and you get so many likes and all of a sudden when it does, you start to feel, oh, is it maybe what's, I'm no longer relevant. <laughs> And that's a problem because we shouldn't look for validation on, on social yeah. media. Yeah. But this is the lesson that they learned. And we also have to understand the purpose or how these people, these are big businesses. Yeah. Mm. And your child is yeah. the product. Yes. Ah. You are the product. Yes. And you are being sold for hundreds of millions of dollars that's social to all network. kinds of uh, corporations who mm -hmm. pay for your, your bio data and everything your so that they can advertise to you. Correct. Mm -hmm. So social media is designed to be addictive. Yes, yes they keep it is. Correct. You it is. Things Correct. And throwing up things in it your is. face just to keep you Correct. on. They want all you to the stay time, on there. Yes. Ultimately turning you into a product. No, you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you no, know? You so it's important that we, we, we understand uh, that fact and, and uh, so that our kids can learn to hold on to their independence and, and not do that. And it's also one of the biggest, it's why today, if you haven't noticed, it's so much, uh, conflict resolution is so much more difficult now. Mm. Okay, go there. And mm. social media is one of the reasons. Uh, because these things are controlled by algorithms. Yeah. yeah, yes. And these algorithms study what you've interacted with before, mm. and they keep giving you more, more. of it. Yes. So okay. if uh, you, you've interacted with a video that mm -hmm. says, Oh, well, the world is really uh, horrible yeah. because uh, <laughs> comfort is doing bad things. <laughs> and then you'll see another video that That's reaffirms that. You see another one that yes. reaffirms that. Yes. And it keeps popping up in your view. And you, you know what they say. Once you something is repeated, mm -hmm. you, you ultimately you buy into it. it. Yeah. And you dig in your heels. And mm. having this conversation that keeps you open to different points of view now becomes extremely difficult because after all you've seen this thing on social media all the time <laughs> yes yeah. uh, comfort is a terrible person so you must see it all the time <laughs> meanwhile somebody who thinks the opposite you know there's other videos that are saying comfort is the nicest person mm. in the world and the algorithms are showing them that so what it's they created want to see, this yes. deep division mm. where one side is mm, is unable to for any reason see uh, what's any happening sense on the other yeah. side. Yeah. You, so you really went and studied this one. No, uh, certainly. I, I felt <laughs> education was very... I need yes. to know what's what happening if my kids are going to consume I this. I love it. And so when, so when she kept on, you know, hammering, this is what she wants to do and all, what I saw from that was the need for what you're saying, that mm. I needed to teach her that you can't, this is not where you will get your validation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's, it's not. a lie. It's 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 temporal. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a mirage. It's not real. It's not real. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a mirage, it's and you real. can't focus here. Mm -hmm. If you must go in the opposite direction, I I said I know it is difficult, and we have to t teach them. It is difficult because, mm -hmm. as you said, this is what they're bombarded with twenty four seven. But you know what? 
then it's even a better way. No, I'm just mm. saying that this is yes. what I had to teach her. Teach her. It's become more difficult parenting, and that's what. So this is now the social parenting. Mm. Yes. The difficulty in those days, or what? What, is the, what were the major things our parents were teaching us? Do not steal. Do not lie. Mm -hmm. The basics. Uh, just, the the basics. Hair, just the basics. Wake up and make your uh, bed. That's it. Yeah. Say thank you. Say mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. Greet your elders. Cut see. That was all. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't even have time to tell them that one. Mm -hmm. Because you're struggling to tell them, this is, you have to have confidence in yourself. You mm -hmm. have to get off this thing. It's not this way. Yeah. It's not because that you are constantly, constantly trying to stop this comparison. Let mm -hmm. me surprise you. Mm -hmm. You know that. Mm -hmm. I've met adults who have been de who are depressed because of things they've seen on social media. Mm. So they believe that, oh, this is it. I'm not good enough. I'm not whatever because I'm seeing these images mm. that are saying this and this is my standard. And that's and, and they're dealing with serious. So I actually have yeah. a, yeah. I ha actually it's have a, somebody. It's a source of depression. Yeah, I have somebody Absolutely. in my community that has mental health, and, and I didn't. I really had never seen anyone with it till it happened to mm. someone in my circle. Mm. As in, when cuckoo went cuckoo, and eventually when the person got you know themselves together, they said you know that this was the source this of it. This was it. Mm. That always opening it and seeing that other people. We're doing this. Yes, I'm We're better. progressing. Seemingly. 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 Okay, because these are illusions. Seemingly. <laughs> okay, seemingly. Seemingly. Yeah. And it had played yeah. on yeah. and on. Mm. And the person just felt, you know, I'm useless. I'm nothing. Yeah. And well, actually I, went I, to I walked out to my car and then uh, there was this young lady, you know, who had mm. decided to, you know, step in front of the car and she was... Wow. You know, snapping pictures of herself. And I was like, oh, this is how they do it. And it wasn't her car, right? <laughs> that was my car. It was oh, your car. Yeah. Well, oh, this yeah, is how they do yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I always see these young ladies with, with Fords yeah. and, and Bentleys imagine, and you know, blah, blah, blah. On a young child. Well, I didn't know that have. some of them actually mm -hmm. just walk up to cars in the middle right. of the street and, and take those pictures. Then you now apply filters. And then you post it up. And oh, yes. it's a great life. Oh, Friday feelings. Or, or whatever. <laughs> Hashtag. I, 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 I like it. I like Friday feelings. Friday feelings. <laughs> yeah. So, so we, we need to teach our children how mm. to, to, to go above that. Yeah. And communication is very important. Yes. I think we, we've gone beyond the age of information suppression, which is what our parents largely did. Yes. Yes. You know, protect your children from uh, no, pornography, no. Protect from sex. Them. But now mm. you have well, the internet, well. which was a game changer. Now everything is Everybody available. has access to everything. You can <laughs> put in all the uh, necessary blocks in your house, and your child could go next door and get all that Children are getting exposed to porn in school. Yeah. In school. Please so now about it's this. about information management, mm -hmm. not so that you, you have to talk to your child to teach them how to process what they have looked at or what they've been exposed to. Mm. Uh, you have to contextualize mm. everything. What, yes. It, we have to shed that, you know, those inhibitions mm -hmm. we used to have, mm -hmm. even about having conversations, Some conversations about sex yes. with, with children and tell them, yeah, yeah well, yeah, this because happens between adults, but this is the context within mm -hmm. which, which it is should happen. happen if you want to have a healthy life uh, as, as an adult. And you know what, interestingly, in what, mm -hmm. what you've said, right, I had that struggle. Um, here I am brought up, you know, with a conservative background, mm. or let me say traditional background, right? And you are thrust into this new world where if you don't, if you don't say it, I mean in those days, if you didn't say it, the child would go out and learn. I mean, mm. what yeah. out and learn on yes. the streets now? Yes. But at least it was, it was mild this compared one, to what these children yeah, it's head on. are on this learning on the streets. Mm. So I had to start with first telling my daughter the correct name of her private parts. My mom, mm. who is a traditionalist too, you know, was going to use the normal house word. They call mm. it masa. Mm. That's how you say with your masa key. Mm. Close your, you know. I mm. said, no, mom, you can't tell her that. That's it will it confuse is. her in this bloody world now. You will confuse her. She will actually think it is the masa that uh, it is. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> will confuse her. Tell her what tell it is. Tell her what the it is. The problem we know. have in telling them mm. is that we sexualize it because we are guilty. We know what it is. Mm. And we know what the effect is. Mm. So we say it to the, We think when we're telling them, we're, we're channeling that to them. We're channeling what the, you know, what the vagina uh, or the penis is for. Meanwhile, it's a body part. It's a body part. And tell her understand. what True. is the body part. True. And tell her that it belongs to her. It's not for use for anybody. There's a time for that. Mm -hmm. Then along the line, I realized that coming to think of it, just maybe this has actually helped us to do what you said, to shed our inhibitions. Mm. Because now I'm forced to, I, I, in fact, I have to. I have to we talk have to you. Have 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 discussions. You have till to. Till today, my mother to. has never spoken to me about sex education. Till today. Well, I think mm -hmm. I was lucky because I wasn't. No, my mom, never, never when I was 10 or 11, she had a full on discussion with me. I think that really okay. shaped my parenting because okay. I think she was ahead of her time. Yeah, to she be honest. must have been. Yeah. You know, and it, did, it, it, it helped me a whole lot. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't the curious teen who was trying to experiment. I understood the things. functions of things and why and the context. 
So with my own children, when as you know, once they were like seven, eight, I started to introduce stage by stage. And it makes them they're very comfortable with me. They so can tell me, ah, this happened, mm -hmm. somebody did this, this, you know, this girl tried to, you know, she you know, you know, trying to make a pass. You know, so though, you know, that's that flow of communication between mm -hmm. us is so important so that they are able to stay grounded mm -hmm. and I know what's going on in their lives. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for instance, I know that you know they're sharing drugs at parties because I you know, I communicate with my children. I know what goes on at even the you know, even the little innocent parties, a lot of stuff is going on. So <laughs> that communication is so important with you know with the way we parent them to this. I know what's happening. I, so it's hard for them to even hide stuff from me because they're like, mom knows everything. Mm. Mom knows what's going on. Mm. And it's because I have been able to tell them what goes on in my life. Mm. I, I'm open. I, I, I don't pretend I have all the answers mm. or that I'm perfect or I know it all or I'm the most brilliant student. I tell them, oh, this is what I've done well. This is where I'm failing. This is where I'm trying. And because they've seen my vulnerability, they too are able to open up to me and say, oh, I'm having this challenge. What more do you think? And it's important you know, that we help them because there's so much that they're yeah. dealing I'm with. You, yeah. so it's a, it's, it's overwhelming. Yeah. So it's so, so I think you raise a very important point about mm. you know, breaking down those communication very important. barriers. barriers. And you, you have to be friends with your children. Mm. Back then, our parents only needed to be parents. Yes, they, I agree. Okay, it was not their job to be but our I parents. Agree <laughs> so, I, so I don't agree with that. I, I, I don't agree with that. Um, mm. I, I think a parent, sh th there's a place for friendship. Mm. That's not me. My, this is my opinion. I mm. am your parent. My job is to love you, guide you, nurture you, be there for you. And in, in that relationship, you remember that you are the child, I'm the parent. Mm. You have your friends for whatever it is. But I agree, you come and talk to me because again, it's better I kill you in the house <laughs> than you are killed on the streets. So for me, that is the difference for me. So when yeah, you know, I, ha I, I had that confusion. Like when I kept hearing people say, no, you have to make her a friend. I said, but uh, we're not friends. But I, know, but I agree no, with I you and I agree with she Shari. Talks, yeah. She talks yes, to me. Don't get me wrong, I think though. The, the, the she point talks is to this. me. Mm. You have to have a, it's a delicate balance. Yes, okay. it's, it's, okay. it's a balance. It's a, it's a new ingredient yes. of modern parenting. Okay. Because when you are uh, a parent all the time, um, there is a fear factor, mm. uh, and sometimes that agree. fear factor can can prevent can them from coming to you. Mm -hmm. So you have to balance that, and and that is at some other point you have to let them know that it's okay to have these kinds of uh, conversations and all. That. And okay. helping them know it's okay is developing that uh, that bond of um, of friendship, okay. and that is uh, having deep conversation. Okay. Uh, with your, your So it doesn't mean disrespect. Uh, no. It doesn't mean no. they see you as their peer. You have to maintain. Hey, 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 hey. Yes. Because the problem. you are no, 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 no. first. Thank yes. you. The first and please. foremost. That is Lady. your job. Th yes. Thank you. It, yes. The friendship is a tool. Is one of the tools of that you are exactly. applying to do your job. Preach. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, I like that. Yes. It is a tool. I still will not that you have I've seen a picture of you and your daughter. And I'm like. You, you, you are, that friendship side is there because with your mom, mm. no. you wouldn't have been posing. Maybe you don't that, call that's it that. That's the picture of her. That's You wouldn't take, so that's the friendship part. So that's the yeah. tool that you're utilizing to have that bond with her mm. that we didn't have with our own parents. You, you wouldn't okay. pose when with your child like, like that. So when no, no, no. are being shared, yeah. Yeah. you want your child to be able to talk to you. Correct. Exactly. Uh, when inappropriate sexual behavior be, is You yes. want them to be able to talk to you. I want them to be able to I agree with you. So those barriers have to be at least low enough for them for to, the have child that to have access to you. I totally agree. But high enough for you to be able to, okay. to exert your authority. Exactly, as, a as the when, parent. When, when you need so, it, so it doesn't mean that we're mates, we're peers, mm -hmm. anything goes no. That's no, not what it's it means. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. That's not what okay. it means. Okay. <laughs> I will uneasily take that one, but I, no, but no, but thank you. I love what you how you situated it. Mm. The friendship is the a tool, tool. Mm. because you need to have the lines of communication open. Okay. Very important. We, we do talk, you know. We we do talk. Mm. It, you know, it, I got to that point where I realized yes, we do need to talk. But I, I didn't like the you know the fact that people were shoving it down my throat that it, you have to be friends. And because I've seen oh, no, parents and their children too that far. too far, and I'm yeah. like, what is this nonsense? Some people go some people too, too far. far. And they must be the and that's why I talk about a delicate balance. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You can be you permissive. You have to find that sweet spot. Yeah. So um. now, going back to our social parenting, which is that even we, we mm. need to touch on that. We mm. as adults yeah. are being schooled by the internet because mm. we Tell too. About so it. it's the human thread of wanting validation. Mm. How do we situate that in the light of the fact that even the big companies, as you said, are determined, determined to have our souls? <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's what she. That's what it is. You know, I like that you said that Steve Jobs and Co. Yes. Because they know, they know yes. the harm. 
They know how addictive it is. Have they know the influences. Social network. No, they designed it. They designed <laughs> it. They designed <laughs> it. We are right. You know Absolutely. The, have you watched the social network? Yes. You've watched it. Uh, yeah. That was exactly. You need mm. to watch it. It's one of the it, on so the streaming platforms. Please, you need to watch it yeah. because it was a stark reality mm. of what these people what are doing. doing. And this was the start point. Mm. Now we have TikTok, which is even more addictive. Oh, you know, goodness. you have all of these videos being mm. thrown at you. But I know one of the things that we did, even though I, I didn't, I had no idea mm. how effective it was going to be, and maybe there was maybe a little bit of luck okay. uh, there, was yeah, going back to the basics. Okay. Um, having your children be more involved in other things, in, in real life things, in, in personal awesome. contact. Fantastic. And in, uh, for, for, for me, it was sports. And yes, well, it started with the TV set, but mm. you know, I got them interested in sports, in participating in sports, sports. not just watching awesome. it. You know, and um, today my children have very little social media activity. I, I, I don't love know, it. I don't know where they came from. I love, <laughs> it. I love it. I love it. But they have very saying. little. They I have love it. pages on social media oh, yes, and everything. Yes. Not they dying hardly day. post. That's you know, and I make sure that yes, if you are going to join a, a platform, well now I, they're I, adults, I so they're adults yeah. Yeah. They don't, but back then if you were going to, uh, if you wanted to have a Facebook page or Twitter or what, I have to be your friend, <laughs> you are, I will send <laughs> you a friend request. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I know they can have, but my kids generally have very little. Even on, on WhatsApp, they hardly, awesome. they never post. They only post uh, statuses uh, when something. Maybe really birthday huge. or something. Say, not even birthday. I mean, it has to be a once in a lifetime thing. Awesome. They're, they're just no, they're Honestly, really I'm into impressed. physical, uh, you know, physical fitness and That's mental. Uh, you know, they just yeah. want to, uh, they want to go outside and do things. And, you know, you call them, what are you doing? Oh, I'm training, I'm running, I'm, I'm jogging. And well, I love the know. fact that, she, I mean, you, this clearly you reminded me of a part. I can remember when I, she was growing up, I, sh there was no TV. Mm. And people put pressure on me. They thought I was being wicked. Mm. I knew earlier on that I did not want her in front of the TV. Mm. Um, and it was a rule. And so what did I do? You did sports. Mine was reading. Reading, mm. fantastic. Right now she's seated. She's writing a book. That's what she's awesome. doing now. Right now. That's what she's doing. I think she's gotten so used to it that she goes out with her book, which maybe on the one hand will make her look antisocial because mm -hmm. then she's buried in it. She's not talking mm -hmm. to anyone. She's buried in it. Or she's cataloging because she likes to write. Um, yeah, that's, that's the awesome effect of having me as her mom. Mm -hmm. you know, she, she got that from me. I just thought I should <laughs> blow my Put that out. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's writing. And mm. I think it's one place that parents need to go back to. Mm. Totally. Parenting is hard. Parenting is difficult. Parenting is sacrifice. Parenting is thankless, mm. but it's a job you must do since you decided to bring these to children bring to the world. Mm. Because these children, you're go they're going to have to, they form part of the nucleus of society. Yeah. Do you want to bring up a child that is a nuisance? Somebody that will end up disturbing people and probably going to jail? And so if we have to take them back outside, remove the tabs from their hand, mm. we have to start with ourselves. I think they learned it I from agree. us. Yeah. I agree. We I agree. are the ones that put the phones in their hands. We are the ones that put the tabs in their hands. We are the ones things. that go to uh, the telecoms com uh, companies and pay for data mm. and give them and leave them there and claim that uh, they need it because it's the new world. What, what does that mean? No. Mm. No. Auntie, what are your I last love, words? I love, I love what you said, you know, what you said about mm. them, you know, outside play and you know about reading because honestly, even with us, how many times you know, have we read newspapers? You know, when last did you take something to actually read? Read your Bible, whatever it is, read something, and not just watch your gaze, you know, at the screen. That's and with true. children, I try to encourage them. There's a field in the estate, go and play. Play football, they play football every day, and I love it. Yeah. And if you look at, you know, for instance, you know, in the downtrodden areas, what you see, those who are succeeding, check out, most times there are people who are playing sports or they are readers. Yeah, media. Because if you're not doing those things, you're actually doing something else which might not be very positive or helpful. If you're not watching TV around the clock, you're engaging in something that's most likely will get you into trouble. Mm -hmm. So we, we need to be deliberate. For me, I started to so look at games, the what's, the cards, you know, all those Ludo. traditional goals, the, uh, 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 what's it called? Are you, are you, are you I taught, yeah, mm -hmm. I taught my son those games. I was like, let's do this, let's, you know, hide and seek. Most times we don't want to play with our children because we're busy. See. Sometimes play with them, engage mm -hmm. in this play. You're exercising yourself, you know, you know as well. Go for know. walks okay. with them. Go swimming with them, not just looking at, you know, so okay, we yes, need to be deliberate about that's these that's other activities to keep them occupied. We've used the TV screen, social media as a nanny, especially for the younger ones, for far too long. Correct. We need to look for other ways to engage them. Get a sand pit in your house. Well Let said. them play. 
Well said. Yeah, yeah. Well <laughs> said. Well That's said. Fantastic. Do you have any really. last words, please? Oh uh, well, no, no, just to, to add to what you said. Enough of remote parenting. Okay. And your job as a parent is not just to provide money or food mm. for your children. Part of what your children need is you, because you are the only one who can teach them how to be an adjusted and functional adult. Yeah. Nobody yes, is going to be able to teach them yes. that. So investing in that time, you must never be too tired mm. uh, to, to do. And there is even a secret. There is no such thing as I don't have time. We make time Please for things it. that we prioritize. And Please. if our children yes, are a priority, we will make time we will for make them. Time. So you understand Love it. On my behalf, mm. say that last part again. <laughs> there is no such thing as... No, there is no such thing as we don't have time, time, I don't have time. We make time for things that we prioritize. prioritize. And with that log line, I'll see you after the break. I still want to reiterate that we cannot leave our children to the mercy of the internet to train. We can't. They're too precious for that. Well, we've come to the end. Sadly, I really wish we could go on with this. Hello. But can we call you back in the event that we need to take this up? Because the platform is just a conversation starter. Anytime. Thank you very much. It would be amazing to be back. No time. And you know that I'm a Nigerian. You can't mm. come to my house and we'll be talking, bantering, we drink small water. We must give you something. It's our tradition here. Are you right? sending prayers to your <laughs> No, no, which prayer are you? Collect something and be going, please. <laughs> and so, um, I think I will start... Ini mini mani mo. Father has a donkey. Donkey died. Father cried. Ini mini mani mo. They have to end with me. Oh. So. <laughs> That's not how it goes. <laughs> That's not how it goes. <laughs> That's, how it goes. <laughs> That's, That's why we should we should remember what they taught us and pass it on instead of uh, right. doing uh, when when you're away. When you're away. <laughs> so this is from us, and I hope you will um, keep it strategically so that people right. can know that there's a safe space to talk. I will. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. I was, ah, yes. I was here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you, of course, are not left out. Aunt Choma, thank Why, you so thank much you. for thank coming. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. Oh, I, I'm really happy that you are. Okay. Thank and you. so now that the uh, guests have collected their gifts, yeah. um, after the break, let's see what your own will be. <laughs> yay. 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 It's CB says time. So CB says, go without your phone or any, any technical equipment for 24 hours. Yes, challenge yourself. Switch it off. Make no excuses. Fill your time with something else. And let's see how you fare. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and now we have come to the end of this episode of the Talking Booth with Comfort Booth. We appreciate, I mean, I can't say this enough, so make am no vex. Just take them, take them. The love, and thank you for tuning in. And we can't wait to see you, honestly, in the next episode. Please follow us on all our social media platforms. And make sure to leave a comment telling us what you enjoyed about the show. Or any comment, really. Till I see you next time, take care. <laughs>